Hey guys, so in the previous video, we looked at market shortages and surpluses, but what happens if there is neither a shortage or a surplus? If that's the case, we say that the market is in equilibrium. If we look at the diagram, the market equilibrium is essentially the point of intersection between the supply and demand curves. Now, what does that mean? If a market is in equilibrium, the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied are equal, and so are the prices. If we're asked to calculate the equilibrium quantity and price, we would do the same thing that we do in math, which is equating the two functions of demand and supply together to solve for the unknown variables, which is quantity and price. In a case where the price is relatively low, and by that we mean the price is below the equilibrium point, there will be a shortage or excess demand. If we look at the diagram, we can see the gap between the quantity supplied, which is the first curve that the horizontal line hits, and the quantity demanded, which is labeled by the red point. In response to this, consumers could substitute other goods or they could um, our less efficient producers could enter the market. Now, what about the opposite situation? If the price is relatively high, and by that we mean the price is above the equilibrium point, there will be excess supply or a surplus. Again, if we look at the diagram, we can see the actual physical gap between the quantity demanded, which is the first line that the horizontal line hits, and the quantity supplied, which is again labeled by the red dot. In response to this, producers could cut prices and lower them to potentially move existing unsold stock, or consumers could signal to the market that they would be willing to purchase the goods if they were at a lower price. In the long run, we believe that price and quantity will move towards the equilibrium point. So, Regardless of whether the price is relatively high or relatively low, we believe that it will move either low, um, down or up to reach equilibrium. And for this to happen, we would require the market to be organized as one of perfect competition. That's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and hope you have a good day.